Welcome, beautiful souls, to another episode of the Spiritual Catalyst podcast where we talk about all things weird and woo. I am your host, Sarah Lyons, the founder of the newearthschool.com.au, and today we have the beautiful Samaya Adeline with us to talk about how activating your oracle gifts accelerates business growth. Samaya is a psychic alignment coach and vibrational priestess for New Earth visionaries and leaders and is here to share with us what and how energy reading can truly supercharge the trajectory of our life, growth, business and share some of the ways you can instigate the activation of your oracle gifts starting now. She believes energy reading is the language of the soul and the only true universal language of the future that we will all be speaking fluently in the new earth. So Maya, I love this. Welcome. (laughs) Thank you so much. Lovely to be here, Sarah. I am, I, new earth is at the core of of everything I do within my business. So this conversation is definitely lighting me up already and I would love to hear your take on on what it is you mean just for the listeners when we're talking about yeah. how activating your oracle gifts accelerates your business growth yeah. i love this absolutely let's make it super practical because i think that it's really important to understand that you know the vibration we're moving into um in our planet has definitely been shifting and as our vibration shifts our tools and the way we share and communicate with one another also kind of adjust to that so energy reading is essentially in our oracle skills are essentially our six sense skills are it's a psychic intuition um, I ran an accreditation called the Soul Star or the Soul Star Oracle, which is to do with our eighth chakra, which is the seat of our soul and the home of our higher self. It's beyond uh, just above six inches above our crown chakra. And that's the point where um, I feel that we connect with our psychic intuition. Obviously, we have a third eye as well, you know, which is that chakra as well. But um, what I find with our psychic intuition is that for a long time, it's been seen as that gift that only a few have. And I'm a really strong believer, having trained in it myself and having been doing it for quite a few years now and training others in this, is that actually it's it's a skill. In a way, it really is actually both a gift. It's a gift from a higher self. And like any gift, we have to unpack it. We have to unwrap it, right? We have to want to open the gift. That's why only a few possess it. But it's not because only a few are given it. Every single person on the planet is able to tune into our senses and to our six senses. And essentially, it's it's our capacity to read energy and our capacity to move beyond the surface and what's being appearing as a surface level kind of information surface level information is like say you walk down the street and you 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 just see people walking past you see them wearing a white a a yellow shirt uh brown trousers whatever but also, and they present as a happy person, they have a smile, they they communicate to you, you know, you have an exchange with somebody, that's surface level information. The deeper information that we access with our energy is the information that communicates on a deeper level that doesn't necessarily even uh like um, uh, feel congruent to what's appearing always, right? So you might have somebody who's presenting beautifully, but inside the energy might be telling a different story. It might be telling the story that there's a lot going on in their lives. They might be telling the story that they've just gone through a massive life event. They might be telling the story that, you know, um, yeah, there's there's a lot of upheaval going on in their lives. And vice versa, you might be seeing somebody who's appearing in a very particular way, like maybe a bit more grumpy and a little bit, you know, rough around the ages that might look uh, externally, but actually internally, you might see a really beautiful soul who's got a lot of gentleness and who's actually a light worker. So it's really kind of a capacity to go beyond the surface and see what's really at the heart of the matter, what's really going on with somebody. And that is a skill that is available to all of us. It's, I call it the energy reading skill method. And it's essentially our ability to go beyond the surface. And now that information can be accessed in a matter of seconds. It's not something that needs to be elaborate. And as I said, it's something that we all have availability to access and learn 
and kind of almost like train as a muscle, mm-hmm. if it makes sense. Totally. Um, I know when I first started, you know, using my psychic gifts, I thought this was something I had to um, learn from someone else. But the more research I did, the more I realised this was just something I had. <laughs> yes. Yes. Absolutely. And then it's like with anything, the more we hone into something, right, the more it can develop as well. Like it's always been for me, but it's not until I started working with the psychic coach who was a business coach. And I felt like I really want to work with this lady. I don't mind so much about the psychic element. I felt like I think I held certain I know you do limiting belief work. Mm -hmm. So I help very. And this is one of the reasons why we kind of hold ourselves back. Um, I, a lot of people, we, I held limiting beliefs around what was possible to access and the information that was possible to access. And it wasn't until I started working with this lady and I started seeing the results it was having in my business being, and, you know, cause I started using this skill and it was part of what she was teaching. And I felt like, Oh, hang on a minute. This goes really like I, I, I did my coaching training and I loved all the strategies I've learned. But I don't use hardly any of them now because, to be honest with you, reading energy really cut to the chase of what's really going on with a client. And I see the misalignment in a matter of seconds. And, and, And that immediately, when you think about the client journey and you think about how connection with our ideal audience and our target audience is important, that immediately broke down the barriers. People say, hang on a minute, how do you know this about me? Or when I somebody comes to me and I say, like, I don't know which business to start. And I said, the healing one. And they said, oh, okay. Like she knew that I, I'm into that. And it's like, yeah, because the information was there straight away. So it's like, it really is a thing. It's a tool that um, it's there available for all of us. But with a little bit of harnessing, it can really take you a long way. It can really take you deeper and it can really be a lot more like harnessed and a lot more like it it, it creates deeper results for, for you and for your clients as well. It really does. And I'm so glad you're speaking about this because what I find with, uh, you know, with the women that, that need support with their business, yes, it's not going to work if you don't have a strategy at all. We need some kind of strategy to implement it, yeah. but it is like 90% the energetics, whether that's mindset, the blocks, what, whatever it is. And it it's just so helpful. And I, I can't even count the amount of times someone might say to me, oh, you are saying exactly what was in my mind. So, you know, like how you said, it cuts to the chase. So rather than going through, you know, maybe a three-month coaching experience, you know in that instance. And I'm just yeah. wondering for the listeners that might be wondering, <clears throat> you know, that sounds powerful, I want to do that, but maybe they're not quite trusting their gifts or they may have what I've found over the years is there can be a block through fear. I know for myself it was a fear of seeing spirit and what if it was scary. Um, What what sort of advice would you have for them in in regards to that? Yeah, I think it's a really good question and I think it's important to understand that each person has their own way into wanting to read energy for different reasons, right? First of all, it's understanding that, you know, um, it is a very practical tool and it is something that you can use in your day-to-day life to make your life kind of better, to really support yourself. The particular modality I I, I teach is really through your higher self. So you're not connecting with like entities and you're not connecting necessarily with the guides that can come through for many people but actually that makes it a lot safer to start with anyway right in terms of like we're not gonna like throw you out into the universe and ask you to like go and find venus (laughs) you know don't worry but um but i the the main thing is that understanding kind of your motives and understanding like okay what would it do for you right to do so because here's the thing that i shared recently on a video um, essentially, you know, we see uh, our kind of the, the psychic skills as a superpower, right? Being able to access deeper information that you couldn't have possibly known um, if you hadn't known somebody. But essentially, it's a tool of connection. You really need to feel safe to kind of allow yourself to go deeper into the fabric of things, to see kind of in the essence of things. So, so first of all, 
I think that what really helps is to kind of create a little bit of safety in your in, in your own self and to really see. And I know as a healer, like that's why I think like you're a healer. I'm a healer. And it's like healing work is so integral in this aspect. Like you really need to start kind of feeling safe in your own body. So if you've experienced trauma, if you've gone through down, like if you had experiences in your life that you haven't processed, it's good to start there. It's good to like start really getting comfortable in your own skin about the life you live to some extent, right? Like we all eat kind of looking to align with something. We're all looking to experience ourselves in a, have a deeper experience in our lives and our business and whatever. But it's like, we need to start from a place where we're feeling safe in ourselves and we're ready to raise the vibration a little bit. So raising vibration is a starting point for me, as far as I'm concerned. If we have way too much noise in our lives, it might be good to like kind of start quieting that down, creating a little bit of sanctuary, like a bit of sacred space so that we know how to switch the mind off. If the mind is constantly going, when it's, when it's time to start tuning into energy, we're going to have to like kind of first quiet the noise and let the dust settle first. So I would say creating a foundation for that in your life first would really help. I have like clients who are still reading energy, my students who like from the first month, we kind of tune into things immediately. We connect with a psychic dictionary and all that. But if uh, people are kind of like really not creating any space and they feel they're going from one thing to the other, they're, they're kind of understanding right, okay, I might need to slow down some aspects of my life right now, even if that means creating 10 minutes in your day where you're going to slow down and meditate first. For some other person might be more kind of connecting with nature, going out and like walking a little bit more. Um, and that's an integral part of the process to, as a starting point. And the other thing I kind of really suggest with people is to start really aligning and really getting a sense of what your yes is and what your no is. Because when you start reading energy, you're going to be shown exactly what's a yes and what's a no, what's right and what's not quite in alignment. And if we're not ready to see it, we're not going to want to read energy. We're going to sabotage it in some way, right? Because essentially, reading energy is all about connecting with the truth of something, so if you're not ready to look at the truth of something, it's, you're going to be triggered. And so I do see kind of that aspect of a psychic development is personal development. So it still asks us to really start facing ourselves on a deeper level. So knowing your yes and your no and that deeper aspect, like, okay, I'm in a work that I'm not really loving, for instance. I know that. I'm owning that. But if we're in a place where we're kind of in, in avoidance of our lives and the truth of what's going on, it's going to be a lot harder to really want to tune into the truth of the energy of something and then to want to do something about it. Because we might love the idea of the skill of the tool, but at the end of the day, you're going to like, you're going to be shown things. And one of those things for me was seeing somebody I really cared about get back to an ex relationship, you know, to like, he was going to do that. Yeah. And I felt like, you know, when it gets personal, it can be particularly like strong to like, you know, to see some things and then you have a choice. And it was, I shared that with a person. I said, look, I don't think you're done with your ex. And he said, no, it doesn't resonate. So when he did go to his ex <laughs> and I was like, okay, this was clearly putting me in that place where I had to like really trust my intuition and go beyond what my heart wanted to hear, you know? Uh, so it gets really personal. So I would just say, starting from your own environment and your own life, starting to really kind of get congruent and really understand that, you know, are we prepared? Are we prepared to be faced with the truth? Are we prepared to make changes? And that's where energy work comes in so handy with this skill really clearing our limiting beliefs, really creating that sacred space and really kind of like uh, opening up to our desire to connect with truth. It's such an integral part of, you know, um, uh, living life in integrity, but also stepping into this new earth paradigm where we're being asked to really remove a lot more of our, our illusions and our blocks, right? Um, 
so I don't know. Hopefully, it has, it, it it responds to your question. But the aspect of raising vibration, however, that's going to be for each person. And energy work, I think, is integral to that. Mm-hmm. It's really key as far as I'm, I'm concerned. And then, okay, are we ready to start putting those sacred boundaries, saying our no's where we need to say our no's, and really claiming our yeses when everybody around you will think, hang on, this woman is weird, <laughs> you know, or like really claiming that truth, um, your 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 truth as a as a spiritual person, your truth as a woo person, your truth as a whatever, you know, being able to say no to family members, you know, and honoring your no when you need to say no to say no and saying yes where you meant to say yes to things, you know. Yeah. That's beautiful, and you know what? Once we once we truly know and embody what a yes and a no is for us, you've basically got the answers to every question you ever have. And that is a powerful tool to wield within our businesses. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that the truth, I know it sounds like kind of very basic, but actually I see it over and over. I think is at the focus, I think, of all the work I do as an alignment coach, as an energy reading coach. Like, it sits at the very center. I think that we, um, energy doesn't lie, but humans, we do lie. We lie to ourselves, not because we want to lie to ourselves. It, it's just that, you know, we we it's part of the process of facing ourselves. And I think that having a sacred space where we can face what's true to us can really open up the doorways for so much more for our expansion. And I feel that energy reading is at the center of that. So I do see those who are more prepared, who really get fast into energy reading, are really people who have come already at some kind of peace with what is the real yes in them and what's a no. And I think that those who fast more fast accelerate in becoming really good energy readers mm-hmm. are, are kind of people who really kind of process that yeah. get into that process and really uh, uh transmute that energy kind of uh pretty kind of fast yeah. and it's not a, it's not a game of speed here you know because as i said it is a spiritual development course essentially or anything to do with reading energy anything to do with healing work you're changing you're asked to transmute energy and condition experience your karma all those kind of elements and that's the juicy stuff. That's the stuff. That's why we're doing this, right? Like that's the stuff that's so exciting. Like yes. I know a bit of your story from what you shared. I know how powerful it is. That did not come easy, surely, right? Absolutely. So the, there's this thing of like you, you know, you you knew you had to like show up for yourself. It's the same with me. So um, I kind of feel like. It's it's sort of like great to think that you could have this superpower, but are you prepared to create the change that's going to ask you to really, that's going to help you to really embody this superpower, to really get deeper into the fabric of human experience, to see beyond the surface and to be prepared to, to see things that you might not want to see, like being betrayed or being kind of lied to. Or, or, you know, in the case of our business, for instance, one of the qu- questions I get a lot from women, why is my business not working? And one of the common things is like, I see is that actually, I don't see you really connecting with it as much mm-hmm. or putting as much energy. And then they're very quick to say, you know what? Yeah, that's true. So it's like what we, what in our mind tells us, what our mind tells us we're doing and what we're actually doing is two different things. And that's what I love about energy reading is super practical. You can really see what's going on and then you can use it as an alignment tool to really kind of start creating that change. And that's that's for me my favorite thing about it. It really is super practical. And if you're prepared to kind of like really um, see, kind of like take on the tool, you can really create like fast acceleration in your life for me. That meant making really instant connection with potential clients because I do some free readings and um, they would come in, ask questions. And so, hang on, you don't know anything about it, about me. And you've just said something that made perfect sense. Uh, And sometimes also there'll be like the answers are completely out of 
out of the wall. Like it's not something I would give as an answer as a coach. And what I love about it is that the that the energy will take me to give you an example. A lady came to ask a question. I was on a summit and we were doing sessions. She wanted to open up to a relationship. There was a blog and so let's tune into it. The energy immediately took me to her father. And I said, okay, as a coach, I would ask a bunch of questions, but that I wouldn't think that I would be led to, to, to tune into her father. The, the dynamic and her energy going there and I asked her about it. Her father had died two years prior. And I said, something you need to share with your dad. And it's almost like she needed a blessing from her dad. And apparently she had come out as a lesbian woman and she hadn't, her dad died before she had come out. And obviously I said, look, obviously he knows, right? Like they know, you know, death is an illusion. It's just another dimension. He sees you, you know, but there was something important for her to share that with him. So they had this intimate conversation with his spirit I sort of took her, it was a life session. So I took her, she had a conversation. Then he gave her blessing. He was so happy to hear that. He was so happy. The energy was so obvious. He gave her the blessing that cleared the energy for her. And I would never as a coach have thought to kind of go down that road, <laughs> you know, but exactly. the energy has the answers. will show you exactly where it's at, the misalignment or the block or the conversation that needs to be had or what the real issue the person is having where the business is not growing, or the particular kind of business model they need, or whatever. The information is so precise, it's ridiculous. And it's kind of like, I feel like, well, I don't need to be using anything else. I just need to be trusting in the energy and to be shown. And with this, for me, comes the most important thing here, which is part of the paradigm and the newer thing, which is like, we're opening up our mystery schools. Yeah. We have a wisdom, we have all the books, we have all the beautiful tools out there. But the energy reading for me, the true psychic intuition for me, it's our birthright and it's essentially our modality. It's the modality of you. All the tools we have, which are beautiful, we can sometimes hide behind. But essentially our energy reading is part of our ecosystem. And there's something super empowering with this because for me, that meant like reopening the doors to my mystery school. And we all have our mystery schools that have laid dormant for so long, you know, and and we've been with all the witch kind of hunts and the trials, you know, there was so much power around that that was so feared. And I feel we have this opportunity now to reopen the doors. And for me, that's what New Paradigm Earth is, leading through that intuition and really leading through that example, letting energy show us what's needed for us to grow and for us to thrive. And for me, that feels the most exciting part of the mission now is that aspect of reopening the doors to the mystery school as part of the process of connecting with the gifts it's and offer, obviously, you know, offering solutions. It totally is, and I love how you say that. I, I feel like every program I I create and run, it's my own mystery school. It's infused with my essence and my beingness, and it just lights me up. And it's such a joy to run programs in that in that space. So thank you for yeah. this to us. It's just it, it's powerful stuff, and I'm sure there's a mm -hmm. lot for the listeners to digest and will want to know more about for those that would love to learn more about you and your mystery schools and, and the work that you do, where can we find you? So um, the two places I would suggest is uh, Instagram. I'm a little bit quieter there at the moment, but I find it's a bit more noise free in a funny kind of way. And it's my full name, Sumaya Adeline. Um I post little videos and stuff. And also mysteryschool.co.uk is my website. If people want to just like connect there, I'm actually just opening my uh, shop. Um, I've got a mystery school membership there and I've got a bunch of free things that people can connect with as well. Um, yeah. yeah. And a few, some, some cool things they can check their free stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'll make sure that we pop those links in the episode uh, details of this show. Thank you so much again for being with us. 
And I'd just like to thank our listeners for joining us today. Also, if you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving us a review and following us for more Spiritual Catalyst episodes in the future. And we will see you next time. Bye.